Adventures in iSTEM, teaching STEM through inquiry. Star classification. Look at all these stars. What do you notice? I notice that the stars have different colors. Some stars appear brighter and some appear very dim. Some look very big and some look very small. They all have different characteristics. Stars are classified by size, magnitude, temperature, and color. Let's look at the size of stars. The largest are called supergiants. Here we see one of the largest supergiants, Betelgeuse. Here is the diameter of the star for Betelgeuse compared to the size of Earth's orbit. You can also see the size of Earth's orbit right here. That's the diameter. And here's the size of Jupiter's orbit. Jupiter's orbit would be right here, this long. The smallest is called a neutron star. The diameter of a neutron star is about 20 kilometers. That's about 12 miles, which is half the distance from Disneyland to Los Angeles. From size of stars, the smallest are neutron, followed by dwarf, middle-sized, giant, and supergiant. Magnitude of stars. This is also called luminosity. And it describes how bright a star is. Scientists use the absolute magnitude and not the apparent magnitude. The absolute magnitude tells you the true brightness of the star. The apparent magnitude is how bright the star appears to us on Earth. Closer stars appear brighter than farther stars. A flashlight in your face, for example, appears brighter than stadium lights a mile away, even though in reality, the stadium lights are brighter than a flashlight. Let's look at the temperature and color of stars. Color and temperature go together. The color changes in relation to the temperature. So the hottest stars are blue. The coolest stars are red. In order from hottest to coolest, we have blue, white, yellow, orange, and red. Our sun. Our sun is a medium in size, medium in magnitude and brightness, and medium in temperature. It's yellow. Scientists use a tool called the HR diagram to help show the classification of stars. On the HR diagram, scientists plot the star's temperature versus its absolute magnitude. For absolute magnitude, the more negative a number is, the brighter it is. The more positive a number is, the dimmer it is. Notice, when plotting the stars on the HR diagram, you can represent their color and also their size. What do you notice about the size of the stars compared to the magnitude? I notice that the larger the star is, the brighter it is, and the smaller it is, the dimmer it is. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Adventures in iSTEM, teaching STEM through inquiry. Discover the adventure at adventuresinistem.com.